Now to Ernesto, the storm has strengthened to a Category 1 hurricane. Right now it's dumping torrential rain on Puerto Rico and knocking out power to thousands of people. Yeah, Dominus Brown's joining us right now to talk more about it. Uh, this thing's not headed our way, or it is. What's going on here? It's headed that? away from the East Coast, but it's headed north. So it's right. going to stay offshore, but it's still going to cause some problems at the beach for us later on in the weekend. So that's going to be some bad news for folks who want to get in a couple last weekends before school starts, yeah. right? Yeah. So let's talk about Ernesto. Category 1 hurricane, as we just mentioned. Uh, how about sustained winds at 75 miles an hour? It's moving to the northwest at 16 miles an hour and will be a big rainmaker flash flood flooding, mudslides for Puerto Rico, even the Virgin Islands. We put a track on this system and you'll see it. It will likely strengthen and likely into a Category 3 hurricane over the next couple days, passing over Bermuda. And you'll notice the official track keeps the center of the storm away from the East Coast, away from Boston. That's great news. However, it's still going to churn in the ocean and it's going to cause some problems here. I want to show you the forecast spaghetti plots here. That's good news, too, keeping the center of the storm away from us in the extended forecast. But when we talk about the wave heights, they're really going to increase. Big time around the center of the storm, right? Maybe about 25 foot <laughs> waves there, way out the sea. But you'll notice the coloration here starting to change as those waves get a little bit higher. And there's going to be a big threat for rip currents and high surf for a lot of us here in southern New England. So you'll see the headlines that I'm tracking. Major hurricane pretty soon, but we really need to be careful at our south facing beaches, at the islands, parts of the Cape as well, because we have rough surf and high threat of rip currents as we move to the weekend, maybe as early as this Friday. All right, outside, a hazy looking sky out there. Look at the hourly forecast. Temperatures in the low 70s toward about 10, 11 o'clock tonight, overnight into the 60s. We'll wake up to some more haze, also some sunshine, and a lot of that haze, as we talked about at the top of the show, coming from those wildfires, mainly in Canada, and the upper level flow pattern taking a lot of that smoke over our skies over the next couple days. So that's the forecast in the morning. How about as we go through your Friday, even some more smoke there that we'll likely have to see. Uh, it does create some nice sunrises and sunsets, but if you're kind of sensitive to some of that smoke, you might want to limit some of your time outdoors. Hey, we've got some more baseball in town. The Texas Rangers taking on our Red Sox. It's a 6-10 first pitch at Fenway. So look at the temperatures at 6 o'clock at 76 and 73 with mostly clear skies at 8 o'clock. Now we've been tracking some showers and thunderstorms over in Western Mass, parts of Connecticut. That will mainly be the story for us as we go through tonight. Can rule out a sprinkle or two as it tries to drift from north to south toward Boston, but we're not talking about rain everywhere. Tomorrow, we'll likely have partly to mostly cloudy skies in the morning, and we might see a little sunshine. Then into the afternoon, we'll likely have some widely scattered showers and a couple thunderstorms around, even toward the evening hours. That's at 745. It might get a bit close to Boston as we move through the late night hours, but overall, overall, we're not expecting rain all day for tomorrow and all night. Then we go into our Friday. There may be a little sprinkle around, but I think most of the area will likely be dry. We push, though, into the weekend, and you'll notice the rain chances going up. Now, we've taken the rain chances is down just a hair for Sunday, but they've gone up a bit more into Monday. Now, we talked about Ernesto. It will stay offshore. This cold front will keep it offshore. All right, so if everything's on time, this front will roll in, and it's going to give us a couple showers for the weekend. Showers into Sunday, but more so into Monday, I believe. And there goes Ernesto. It moves away from us. Thank goodness for that cold front, right? We have, yeah, we got to really count our blessings for that one because it's going to keep that storm away. But we'll still have to deal with some showers for your weekend. So there's your 10-day forecast. I'm alerting you to that chance of rain Sunday at 40%, a 70% chance on Monday. Look at the temperatures. The clouds and showers around will be in the upper 70s Sunday, Monday, even Tuesday about 80 degrees next Wednesday. All right, Domenis, thanks so much. And don't forget, if you're not by a TV, you can still get the forecast right on your phone. Just download our free NBC10 Boston app. There you'll have access to the radar, the exclusive 10-day forecast, or you can set it up to get severe weather alerts right where you live.